So let's revisit our design strategy again. So design strategy for IIR filters. And so remember, so what we the design strategy is the best one is that we break down our IIR filter design in second order filters and creating a chain. So so that's a second order filter IIR and another second order IIR and so on and so on and maybe as an option at the end one one first order filter in case we have an odd number and so now when we're looking at our filter commands here so b comma a so we know these are our FIR and IRR coefficients and for example we use a butterworth command butter 10 comma 0.1 so this generates us a butterworth filter here of tenth order so tenth order then then the output here these coefficients here they are also tenth order coefficients here so essentially here this creates a creates an IIR filter IIR filter with nine delay delay steps. So let's have a look if how this looks like here. Um, so if we write B comma A and and we write butter and then ten O point one. So it's all nicely that transformed. So if we look at our recursive coefficients here, then we've got ten coefficients. So we know this is the output, the undelayed one. This is multiplied by that two minus one, that two minus two and um, then this last one must be that to minus nine so we need nine delay steps for that so this is not a second order system but a ninth order if we call this like this so we would like to break it down in second order units and um, luckily there's a there's matlab octave commands which does this so creates an error filter with nine filter with nine delay steps. So we need to break it down. Break down into second order IIR filters. And um, there's a command called TF to SOS and essentially we just put the B comma A in it and then this gives us second order filter coefficients back. Yeah, so these are our input coefficients here and then the output here output is an array with second order IIR filters let's just have a look if this how this works the problem is that's a bit cumbersome the output so if we write TF to SOS and B comma A then the output is the following here and um, the way it is meant here 
that these first three here, so these are, that's a first second order filter, that's the second second order filter, and the third one, and so on. So every row is one second order filter. And then from the first second order filter, these are the FIR coefficients, and these are the IIR coefficients here, which are outputted here. The best thing is to look at the at the help command here to make sense out of these coefficients here, which is explained here. So so the output here, the returned SOS matrix here, is essentially so B1, A1, and um, then this goes to B and A N, where B1 is B0, B1, B2, and A1 is is here 1, A1, A2. So that's our FIR part, and that's our IIR part here. And with that command, we can now generate these coefficients. We can now insert into an into a C implementation of this filter, and we just need to create a second order filter in C, and then we just create a cascade of these filters with these coefficients. And with that, basically, we have concluded our IRR design process.